All right, it is early April and we're up here in the mountains. Um, we have finally lost all our snow. Um, so it allows us to get in here and do a little bit of food plot work. We don't do a ton of food plot work in our mountain areas that we hunt, but uh, this uh, area in particular has a couple huge landowners and we've got permission from them to plant some little tiny food plots. They're not like a huge draw, but they definitely help to run cameras on and to you know have little micro plots to hunt over. This one in particular is, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an acre. Um, there's a really good deer in here this year. So we're gonna focus on and try to make it as attractive as possible and we're gonna do that by planting frigid forage, big and beastie brassicas in August. But we wanna get this plot ready to do that. This plot has been, I think, cereal grains two years ago and clover last year. It's a little bit spotty, so we're gonna go in today and we're going to frost seed in uh, frigid forage's plow down clover. And this is an annual clover, it grows fast. And what it does is it provides um, a cover crop for the spring and summer for your food plot. If you wanna plant uh, in the fall and brassicas, you don't wanna leave it bare dirt for two or three months. It's not good for the soil. It's gonna dry out. Um, it's just not gonna be very good for your food plot. So it's gonna act as a cover crop. It's gonna give the deer something to eat during the spring and summer months, a good green uh, high protein uh, food source in cl uh, annual clovers. And then the most important thing is, is in August or late July, we're gonna go in and actually turn this um, plow down clover into the soil and clover is a legume so that means it fixes its own nitrogen it pulls nitrogen out of the air and puts it into the soil when we turn that green uh, manure or clover into the soil it's adding nitrogen to the soil that the brassicas are going to feed on and they're going to do excellent so not only are you going to feed the deer you're going to conserve your soil but you're also going to save money on fertilizer costs in the fall um, you're not going to have to add as much nitrogen to the soil to get your brassicas to go, uh, grow well and have a super attractive food plot one thing to note is this uh, plow down clover you don't want to seed it early in the or late in the winter, early in the spring, you wanna wait a little bit later until there's no snow on the ground. It's not quite as uh, frost seed hardy as a perennial clover. So just keep that in mind, but pretty warm here today. Um, and we've lost all our snow finally, so we're gonna go ahead and do it. We're gonna seed about a half rate. There is some clover in this plot uh, already. We had this in cereal grains two years ago and clover last year, but it is pretty spotty and it's, uh, it needs to be reseeded. So we're gonna go about half the seed rate. The seed rate for this um, is eight to 10 pounds per acre. So probably gonna do four to five pounds per acre. And we're gonna get to it. And hopefully this is gonna be a great starting point for our food plot in August. And the brassicas will go big and we'll kill that big buck here this fall. That's it. It's that simple. Get yourself a seedway hand crank. Get yourself some frigid forage clover seed. And seed a food plot in five minutes. You don't get till or anything. I really love this. This is great for like this mountain stuff. You can't get a tractor in here. You just wait till this time of year. Spread the seed. And let nature do its course with the freeze thaw cycles of the morning or the evening and night and daytime. So that's it. We're done with this one. On to the next one.